If you're running a Divi website, you need to do exactly what I'm going to show you in the next few minutes because if you do this, you're going to have a website which is going to be faster, easy to manage, and easy to work on. So let's start by creating a brand new page. I'm going to come over here, click on Add New. Now let's call this page Style Guide. Click on Use Divi Builder. Use Divi Builder. Next, we're going to click on Start Building, and we are going to start this page from scratch. All right, so let's start with a single column here. And in this column, we're going to add some text and select this. Next, I'm gonna snap this over to the left so I can see what I'm working on. By default, Divi has this uh, font that comes with it, but chances are you don't wanna use this because pretty much your website's gonna look exactly like anyone else who hasn't customized their website. So let's go ahead and customize our fonts and everything else on our website. So the first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to come over here to design, text, and we are going to change our font here. So in this example, I'm gonna use Poppins. I'm gonna select that. Let's increase the size here to about 16. And we're also going to increase the line height. Right, so now here's where things get very exciting. So we want that every time we add a paragraph of text, it is going to be consistent throughout the whole website. If I now come over here to the top on our presets, you need to make sure that you create new preset from current styles. Click on that and let's give this a name. Now it's important that you give it the proper name here so you can remember it as you are designing your website. Next, you want to assign this to default. So every time you're going to add some text on your website, this is going to be the font that gets applied. So let's go ahead and do that and click on apply and yes. Now let's go ahead and save. Okay, so now let's create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here, click on page. So let's call this test, use Divi Builder. So let's see what happens now if I add a brand new paragraph. So we're gonna search for our text module here and select it. I'm gonna add my text in here. Now notice that this has taken on our preset that we just created. So every time you're going to build any page or anything on your website, this font here is going to be consistent throughout the whole website. Now you can continue on and add even more modules. Now let me show you one more module that you can add, but pretty much the process is the same. So I'm gonna split this into two and over here to the right, we're gonna add a button. So let's search for our button module. And as you can see, it comes in by default with this style here, but we don't want that. So we're gonna come over here to design, button, activate use custom styles for button. And then we're gonna start off by adding our button text color. Next, we're gonna come over here to our background color. And then we're gonna to go to the border as well. Next, we're gonna to go to our button font. So for our font here, I'm gonna add Poppins. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now, don't forget on the top here, you need to change this preset from default and click on create new preset from current styles. So we're gonna say main button. We're gonna apply this to the default, apply this and save. So as you can see, we're starting to build our presets page here. I would like to call it a style guide. So you wanna continue here and add even more modules. So let's add a few more. So adding modules here is very simple. So you can just choose anything here. So it could be a blog, it could be a circle counter, it could be a call to action. So you wanna make sure you go in and give it the style that you want and save it as a preset for your website. So over here now, let's save this. So I'm just gonna refresh quickly and see what happens now when I add a brand new button on my website. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, search for my button module, select it. And just like that, I have this button here as my preset and all my buttons on my website are going to be the same. So what you may ask is what if I need to change the color of this button later on uh, throughout my design? So you can just go in here, choose the button like that, go to design, button. So let's say you wanna change this color here. So we're gonna to go to our background color here, like that. So if this is going to be your new color, in fact, we might as well go ahead and change our text color as well. So let's say this is going to be our new color now, you decided to change your colors on your website. You can now go back over here and say, on this main button, you click on this little icon here. Okay, so this will update the uh, preset with current styles. So if I do that, notice what happens. If I say yes and save, that preset we had earlier on is now going to be changed to this. So if I add another button here as I'm designing, notice what happens. It now has this color. So throughout the whole website, this color here is going to be applied, which means your website is going to be consistent. Now you may be asking me, how does this make my website faster? Now this makes your website faster because 
your browser is not loading up a lot of CSS to render all the different elements on your website. So once this instance is loaded, pretty much that's all the browser needs to do throughout your whole website. So this makes your website faster and it is very, very easy to manage. If you wanna learn more about Divi, I have a free course, link to that in the video description below. See you in the next one, take care.